Hello friends. Today I want to show you how to build one of these. So this is a power adapter. You can see it's about that long. So what this is, is a NEMA 1450 receptacle here. So it accepts a NEMA 1450 socket. On this connector and then this is a NEMA 6-L6-20 plug that can plug into one of these kind of outlets. So I'll be inserting a picture of this adapter in use Okay, so that location is Luscious Garage in San Francisco, where uh, the Golden Gate Electric Vehicle Association is allowed to meet at that location. And uh, when we're there, we're allowed to use the charging facilities, which is just a power outlet on the side of the vehicle lift. And the power outlet has one of these. So as a uh, practical matter, I have a uh, 240 volt uh, charging station that has a NEMA 1450 plug on the end of its cord, and I can certainly use the power outlet that matches this, and I just need this adapter. So in general, uh, for an electric car charging station to plug into some random power outlet that you find, this is what you need, is a piece of wire, and on one end of the wire you have a receptacle that matches the plug that's on the end of your charging station, and on the other end of the cord you have a plug that matches the power outlet. And some people have built a whole bunch of these because they uh, want to be able to plug in and charge wherever they go. Uh, so this is relatively an easy project to do. Uh, and what I'm going to do is take this apart and show how it's put together. Um, to give a little overview, you have this wire. Now it looks like a beefy wire, but I've, I re read the text that's on the side uh, it's actually 10 gauge wire so it's not that beefy but uh, the basic idea is that you've got this hole down here and then you've got some screws there and that's how this end of the thing is held together so you unscrew that and then the wire goes into some holes on on this thing and that's how it's attached to this end on this there's a set of screws here and and it holds down this hold down and then this whole back body here and then again you've got wiring that goes into some holes here so i'll pause the video and take all this apart and then i'll talk about how it's put together okay i'm back i've taken everything apart um so this was on the back side of this and then there's this other piece here that fits right here um, and so for this that black part just slides back okay so let's start here you see that you've got a wire a wire and a wire and you've got a screw and the wire goes into this thing and the screw uh, you just screw the screw down and it clamps the wire in place and that's how all three of those are done okay so it's very easy to put that in so when you have the wire you obviously need to strip the end off of the wire so if I can get that to stay right there and then the wire stripping is done with a tool like this 
you put the end of the wire inside this here and you'll see that there are numbers corresponding to the wire gauge. So you put the wire in the hole appropriate to the wire gauge and then you go like this. It cuts the plastic and it leaves the wire behind. It's very easy to use. Okay. So then, next thing to notice is that there are three connectors on this plug and there are four connectors here. Or if we turn this around, you might see that a little more clearly. There's four holes. So what's going on is on the NEMA 1450, this is ground, these two are hot lines, and this is what's called the neutral. And then on this one, uh, I know that this one here is the ground because that has green paint on it, and that's a, a universal color. So this is ground and then two hot lines. So for this adapter, that means that the neutral line is not needed, and so therefore there's nothing connecting to the neutral line. Um, okay, and then the other thing to go over is how this is put together. You see that that's a simple clip, and then there's a screw, and uh, the piece of wire goes into here, and then you screw the screw down, and it clamps the wire down. Okay, so that's how this is assembled. And then it's put in just like he showed me, or I showed you. So that's all there is to building this adapter. You get a piece of wire, strip off the ends, and then you attach it into the connector, either you know clamping it down with the screws here, or like this one, and then you put it back together. And there you go. Now one thing to point out is the wire size which is required um, so this plug being a NEMA 1450 is rated for 50 amps maximum this plug being a NEMA 6-20 L6-20 that is it's rated for 20 amps maximum. Now since electric car charging is a continuous load, that means when you're running the charging station, you have to limit it to 80% of whatever the connector is. And in this case, because this is the weakest connector right here, that is this is the connector that has the lowest rating, you have to limit the whole charge current to the whole system to the limit of this. 80% of the 20 amps that this is rated for as the maximum rating is 16 amps continuous. So that means your charging station needs to be limited to 16 amps continuous in order to use this correctly. Um, so, you know, if I'm accurate that this actually is 10 gauge wire, then uh, 10 gauge wire is sufficient for a 16 amp continuous load. But if you were to build a adapter that takes the 50 amp here and something at this end that's much larger, you know, like it's possible to use a 6 50, which is a also 50 amp plug that is commonly used, if you were to use a much larger current then you will need a thicker wire than this. And it's likely that you'll need an eight, eight gauge wiring instead of the gate, 10 gauge wiring that this is. So that is the adapter. Again, it's a very simple process, project. Take a piece of wire, strip the ends off, and then insert and clamp down the, okay? Now, um, 
Now, I do want to say something about the brand names of the parts that you see here. Uh, this is a Camco. Uh, this is a Camco receptacle. So Camco is a very well thought of uh, product, you know, company that has, you know, these are very good quality. I'm happy with this. Uh, I've seen that there are some cheap Chinese knockoffs of this, and I have no idea how good they are. Uh, the one on this end is made by Leviton. Leviton being a major manufacturer of all kinds of electrical components, and uh, you know they they build this for like uh, electricians and stuff. So this is very, this is a very solid, reliable thing. Uh, and I actually like how this one goes to get, together better than this one. Uh, this is very easy to to go together, whereas this one has. A number of screws and the screws are tedious to take on and off so okay uh, but other than that this is reliable this is reliable uh, so okay uh, I hope this has been helpful and uh, keep an eye out for the next one thank you for watching